Most people view Sigma empaths as the outcast of society and the peculiars among the ordinary. But the way other people receive this information differs. Some might admire Sigma empaths, but others, like narcissists, undermine their skills just because Sigma empaths are different. Narcissists usually get threatened with change and differences. After all, their inability to grasp meaning like the rest of us causes them to be terrified of many things. However, Sigma empaths do strange things that irritate narcissists. If you want to learn more about some of them, you've come to the right place. Here are 8 weird things that Sigma empaths do that provoke narcissists. Number 1. Their tendency to go solo. Narcissists get used to getting the things and people they want immediately. Their charm will just work for them, and they'll be with someone they can use as a supply for how long they see fit. That is why they tend to get riled up whenever narcissists encounter a challenge in fulfilling their wants and needs. And Sigma empaths are just that for narcissists, a challenge they need to accomplish and a mystery they need to solve. Narcissists are not that quick to grasp the social cues most of us immediately understand. Hence, they learn and study these things just to fit in and belong in society. That means narcissists are well-versed in the normalcy of social cues, which emphasizes people need a companion. But socializing isn't a linear process. That is why they tend to scramble when someone is out of the ordinary and narcissists would still want to pursue them due to their ego. Narcissists' confidence got built up on the assurance that people would want someone to be with. So imagine what would happen if they approach Sigma empaths who don't have any intention to be with people when not necessary. They would, however, be embarrassed if they were to hook up with Sigma empaths. One way or another, narcissists will get rejected by Sigma empaths because Sigma empaths always like to go solo, which is probably a weird thing for most of us who need human interaction to function. But believe me, narcissists think much worse than them just being word. All sorts of profanities will come out of their mouths because they can't get someone they want for the first time. Number 2. Staring and murmuring to themselves. Sigma empaths as thinking empaths tend to stare out into space and murmur when they are deep in their analysis. The strangest part is they tend to stare into space out of nowhere. Because no matter where they are, Sigma empaths always prioritize understanding their thoughts or even other people's minds. A simple conversation can make them go places in their brains. This is particularly frustrating for someone who likes to have all the attention they want from Sigma empaths which pertains to narcissists. The traits and behaviors of Sigma empaths are anything but ordinary. Still, narcissists know that they are the ones who will take special care of someone in need. Hence, narcissists chase after the attention of Sigma empaths. But when the weirdness of Sigma empaths comes out, narcissists will surely go ballistic. They expect to have the undying attention they've always wanted from Sigma empaths, but they are wrong. Sigma empaths truly care for those that need their help. But they can care less for those attention seekers like narcissists. But going back to the topic, one of the things Sigma empaths do that provoke narcissists is the Sigma empaths staring and murmuring. Number 3. When they're asking many questions. Narcissists don't like to talk about their business because they have so much to hide. Don't get me wrong, I know they love to flaunt. But narcissists always avoid the questions that matter. On the other hand, Sigma empaths take their time answering and asking numerous questions. If narcissists want to woo a Sigma empath, they should answer the questions that Sigma empaths fire their way. Honesty and intelligence are the things that Sigma empaths look for in a person. Narcissists wouldn't pass the test if they always evade the Sigma empaths' questions. However, the questions Sigma empaths will ask are sometimes strange, and the amount of their questions makes them weird in the eyes of others. But do you know what provokes narcissists? It's the fact that Sigma empaths' questions seem unending. 
and the stakes of having their secrets out in the open are high when it does not stop coming. Number 4. Saying blunt rebuttals when not being addressed Sigma empaths all have smart mouths. When they hear someone saying something wrong, they will bluntly speak up and correct the person. That situation is the most humiliating thing that could ever happen in a narcissist's life. But Sigma empaths can't control their mouths, much more if it's against people like narcissists. Suppose the foundation and basis of the Sigma empaths arguments are factual. In that case, they are not afraid to stand up against the bullies of society, one of which is the narcissists. That feeling of having someone cut you off just to correct you isn't that appealing to most of us. How worse could it be to the high and mighty narcissists, right? Number 5. Leaving out of nowhere It is common courtesy not to leave a conversation when someone is still speaking. But for Sigma empaths, fleeing from a crowded and packed place is a must. Due to their ability to absorb everyone's emotions, it might be too hard for them to persevere in a conversation. Hence, the only choice for them is to leave out of nowhere. For most of us, it is pretty weird for them to get that disturbed. But that experience is real for empaths. Narcissists hate the feeling of being left alone. So when Sigma empath outright slips away from them in the middle of a conversation, they will become livid. Even though there are other people around them, narcissists will get obsessed with the one who dares to disrespect and provoke them. Number 6. When Sigma empaths don't react to compliments. If Sigma empaths have smart mouths, narcissists have sweet mouths or pretend to do so. That would still count, right? Narcissists are used to people swooning over them with just a single compliment they will say. But with Sigma empaths, compliments do not work, which is an abnormality among the generation that rigorously pursues fame. Immediately, Sigma empaths will get labeled as the freaks or weirdos of society. The indifference of Sigma empaths always provokes narcissists. The Sigma empaths rejection can shake the narcissists' fragile egos, which pushes narcissists to get revenge. Number 7. Sigma empaths ignores phone calls. Due to their controlling nature, narcissists usually monitor their partners or victims by phone or personal but they would be in a dilemma if they chose a Sigma empath as their target. Sigma empaths prefer to go it alone and are on the lookout for amazing discoveries. They are the people who are not on their phones all the time. Sigma empaths have better things to do than satisfy the needs of a narcissist. Sometimes, Sigma empaths choose to ignore a phone call from narcissists for reason they only know. This incident usually pushes the narcissists to their wits, and Sigma empaths won't even care. The only vital thing Sigma empaths focus on doing is helping those in need and fulfilling their purpose in life. Narcissists will always be on the last on Sigma empaths to-do lists. Narcissists and Sigma empaths are like oil and water, two opposite compounds that don't mix well. With one being destructive under fire, and one providing warmth under fire. Narcissists are usually easy to provoke because they rely on their fragile egos to function. Hence, they get annoyed and provoked by Sigma empaths' unintentional actions. But there's only one thing I can say. A relationship between Sigma empaths and narcissists is a failure right from the start. Did you find this video interesting? What do you think? Leave a comment below. Like this video and subscribe to this channel. Watch this next video right here.